In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the most important functions of the Humble Analog Oscillator. We'll kick off our patch in the usual way, by clicking the New button in the upper left, which will clear the rack. If you can't see your library of modules on the left, click the Library button up top to reveal it. Nucleus comes with a collection of 22 modules, everything you need to make many classic analog synth patches. Obviously, you'll be starting with an oscillator module, so scroll down the list until you find it, and then click the Add button. An oscillator will appear in the rack. If you followed along with last month's tutorial, you'll know that, though you can't hear it yet, an oscillator is always on. You need only to route it to Nucleus's main outs panel. However, some control over the level is warranted. So return to the library, scroll to the top, and add an amplifier module. Your amplifier is now visible in the rack. Clicking and holding on its output jack allows you to drag a virtual cable up to the 1LM jack in the main out panel up top. M stands for mono here. Next, route a cable from the oscillator's leftmost waveform output on the very bottom to the amplifier's input. This is a sawtooth waveform with a positive ramp. Go ahead and give the amplifier's gain knob a nudge to hear the waveform. Hearing it is one thing, but it'd be nice to get a look at it. To do so, we can return to the library and find the oscilloscope module. Add one to your rack. This module has no effect on the sound, but provides a means to visually analyze the signal. You'll need to run a second cable from the amplifier's output over to the oscilloscope's input. Multiple connections to or from the same jack can be made by clicking and holding on the jack, which will produce a ring of multiple patch points. Once you've made the connection, you can see the amplifier's output signal in the oscilloscope's display. Disconnect the sawtooth wave and connect one of the other waves to see its shape in the oscilloscope. Go ahead and try each of the oscillator's outputs in turn. Notice that the two opposing sawtooth waveforms sound the same. It may not seem useful to include both on the same oscillator, but as we'll see, it serves a purpose. Connect the oscillator's square wave output to the amplifier's input. Go to the CV outs panel in the upper left and find the pitch jack. Run a cable from that jack down to the keyboard CV jack in the upper left of the oscillator. You should now be able to play the pitch of the oscillator using incoming MIDI notes or a MIDI keyboard controller. Note that you can also use the oscillator's frequency knob to change the pitch within a limited range. There are also six range buttons that allow you to select different octaves plus a low function which we'll get to in a moment. Note the pulse width knob. Give it a counterclockwise spin and take note of the effect. When the positive and negative cycles of a square wave are unequal, the result is a pulse wave. Modulating the width of a pulse wave is a popular effect known as pulse width modulation. Go to the library and grab another oscillator module. Drag it down to just below the first one and set its range to low. This causes our second oscillator to act as an LFO, or low frequency oscillator. Run a cable from the second oscillator's sine wave output to the first oscillator's PWM mod jack. Now crank up the adjacent PWM amount knob. As you can see and hear, our second oscillator is controlling the pulse width of the first. Try playing with the second oscillator's frequency knob. Disconnect the cable between the two oscillator modules. Run a cable from the leftmost positive ramp sawtooth output of our second oscillator 
up to the first oscillator's frequency mod jack. Turn the adjacent knob up halfway. The pitch should now be rising. Next, let's try the other sawtooth to hear the pitch falling. Try playing with the second oscillator's frequency knob. As you can see, it turns out that there is a very good reason for including both sawtooth outputs on our oscillator module.